Get that bag, get through. Going like how did I get my name? Like, you know, DMV Flag's most hated. Like how did how did I become, you know, the most hated person in Flag? I be hooping, like it's nothing. Every game I catch a pick, I'm scoring. Like it's nothing that literally every game it's a stat that Rail puts up. And I help the team out to win. So for that to be hatred is just it, that was absurd. My mom always told me and I live by this. When you're successful, it comes with hate. That's just facts. Success comes with hate. That's just what it is. And and it's always the players. If you think about it, it's always the players with an opinion. None of these coaches ever saying shit about who to go, who this, who that. It's always the players, because all players always got an opinion because they on the field playing against the person. But in reality, coaches know what's best. Coaches know what the fuck is going on in this flag shit, which is why everybody say I hop from team to team and I I, I got 30 different jerseys because coaches know what's up with me. Coaches know what I do. I don't go ask the player, yeah, can I come play with y'all? No, I go to the head honcho and be like, yeah, I need a spot. I'm trying to see what's up with y'all. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's what it is. That's what happens. So how did you get the name most hated? Um, broke code. So the whole debate with Chico started because of the bro code like the bro code part came out because me and Breon we was on live one day and he got to talking about he was better than me because he had national championship rings what I bring to the game he can't bring I'm versatile I play sun I play slot safety I play strong you know corner middle safety like I rush I, I do a whole lot more than just play center you know what I'm saying so and all he does is play receiver so we got into an argument about basically like who makes more plays, who does more. All right, so I said I said that he was a player on the bottom of the Lakers bench when they was winning NBA championships, meaning you produce as much as a bench player. Just because you on the field, just because you out there, don't mean you making plays for it. Don't mean you contributing. And you have received, if you're not scoring, why are you out here? How good did it feel to have that conversation and then put them out of the playoffs the next week? It felt good to see my team Pride up and rally up to go get that win, even though I'm not there. Literally, the next day, my team rallied up and, you know, we got that win. And we got it. Basically, the game was sealed off a of pick six, for real. And then, that's where Bro Code Part 1 came from. Not being a rapper, how did you come up with, like, the lyrics of these songs? Majority of it is truth. Most of it is truth. Most of it, like the minute song that I came out with, JC gonna throw you a pick. First, first play or, or second possession of the game, he threw a pick six. Broke code, we lost our offense. We played them in the game that, that, that we beat them. We won off defense. Like I said, our defense full of demons is facts. Like we won off a of pick six. What would you say to those players that say, Rel is a B and C player, he's not an A player, and he won't be an A player? <laughs> Check my resume. Who cares about rec, comp, or pro? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna get me this rec national championship this year. We're gonna move up next year, get a comp, and then we're gonna move up after that and get an A. Like, I don't wanna call us a baby up in smoke, but what I mean by that is, at every single position, up in smoke has a dog. On ASAP, at every single position, they have a dog. The only difference between ASAP and up in smoke, on, on up in smoke's bench, they got about 30 more dogs. ASAP don't have that. ASAP, we only got about 30 players. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's the only difference between Upper Smoke and, and, and ASAP, for real, in my opinion. And that's really why everybody's like, damn, rail going down wreck. Because I chose ASAP. If I would have went to fucking New Era Firehawks, niggas wouldn't have gave a shit about what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm just being real. Like, it's because I went to ASAP. They just placed fourth last year. So everybody's like, man, <laughs> this year is like my revenge tour. Like this year is like, I want to get back and show people why I'm real, why, why, why I'm the most hated, why people really don't just hate me for my antics. People really hate me because there's nothing people can do about the antics and my play. Like there's nothing people can say. People can't shut me up. That's why people hate real. Cause there's nothing you can do with me. I'm gonna keep talking because you can't stop me on the field.